very good evening to uh, uh, the student participants uh, here are the basics of biomedical imaging uh, actually uh, last class we discussed about the seventh session that is we need to continue over uh, this particular uh, seventh session uh, up to i think uh, these are all the things yesterday we crossed over what are all the thing and everything and the recorded video is getting ready it will be reach you soonly uh, on or before uh, 10 o'clock today i hope uh, these are all the things you already crossed over and uh, yes so this is what <clears throat> we uh, just stopped over uh, this particular thing yesterday so here uh, what uh, we are going to discuss about yesterday is a small uh, discussion about because um, in the previous sessions we crossed over uh, the radiological equipment that is a ct mri x-ray and what are the concepts and what is the components and what are all the other benefits that we are crossed over using this particular uh, uh, radiological imaging uh, in that way in the seventh session we initially start with uh, how this particular imaging is vary from other uh, uh, three um, imaging techniques what we are crossed over so actual thing is this particular ultrasound is not producing any radiations but even though it is not producing any radiations this particular excuse me uh, some of Join I think Scott. I am requesting the participants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My dog joined and we will proceed. Okay. So actually, uh, this particular ultrasound is not coming under, is uh, not producing any radiations. But even though this particular uh, uh, ultrasound, we can, we, we are, we are uh, always says that uh, coming under the radiological equipment. The reason behind is uh, uh, the equipment that are all imaging for the diagnosis purpose that are coming under the radiology most probably. Okay, so that is what we are keeping this particular ultrasound in the radio radiology class. Actually. Uh, I just take an example of the MRI. MRI is not even producing any radiations. But even though you are not, it is not producing any radiations, we can keep that particular uh, uh, MRI into the uh, radiological uh, department only. So that is what as like that MRI. This particular ultrasound is not producing any kind of radiations. Uh, even though we can able to fix this particular ultrasound machine into the radiological equipment. Uh, although uh, this particular ultrasound machine producing more than uh, the audible range of frequency, that is what uh, it can able to give. It, it should not be give any uh, kind of side effects to the uh, uh, fetal babies and everything. And um, in this way, we can able to cross over what are all the components present in ultrasound machine and what are the operations we can uh, see, look over and what are the applications. In the, in the three days before we conduct our, some of the workshop uh, behind the ultrasound machine. So how the ultrasound machine is function and how uh, the particular uh, thing is happened, the three days the uh, thing is going on actually. Uh, through that we can, uh, we learn many things about uh, that particular ultrasound machine. I will share at the same time, I will share the demo video of the particular ultrasound machine also according, um, along with your recorded video. Okay, so here what we are crossed over in this particular um, thing is that is that first of all the main thing of the ultrasound is probe through the probe only we can able to diagnose whatever the internal organs inside it okay the probe play a main vital role in the ultrasound machine okay if the probe is not functioning properly then what are all the other parts uh, it is not use of all the other parts in the ultrasound machine okay uh, the the probe consists of piezoelectric crystal that particular probe having a capability to producing more than audible range of frequency that is more than 20,000 kilohertz it can able to uh, uh, send it to the internal organs at the same time that particular probe itself uh, act as a receiver it will transmitting the uh, radio uh, it will transmitting the ultrasound waves at the same time it can able to receive the ultrasound waves. okay that particular ultrasound waves that is a tra received ultrasound waves will be uh, computerized with the help of the software's vapor, vapor uh, I'm sorry um, 
uh, reconstruction software and other some other softwares we can able to build it in the 2d image 3d image and even 4d image nowadays we can able to see in using this particular ultrasound machine okay mostly this particular ultrasound is used for the fetal ultrasound there's not 72 percentage of the uh, ultrasound is used for the purpose of fetal okay so that is what i am uh, need to say it then apart from then apart from the probe the probe is act as a transducer um that particular probe it will receive the image and will send to all the other computerized part that is a, a cpu there and the keyboard is there in the ultrasound that particular keyboard using the particular keyboard we can able to change the mode of the uh, uh, ultrasound machine uh, most probably we already know that in the concord we already cross over a mode b mode and uh, m mode is there a mode having a little bit of frequency most of the uh, uh, companies and most of the doctors most of the uh, um, scanners there is a radiographers they are not using that particular a mode because uh, because of uh, uh, less resolution role re, uh, resolution we can't able to see some of the internal image so that is what uh, they are not using that particular uh, a mode uh, b mode and m mode according to the application and according to the purpose what uh, what is the purpose we need to scan according to that the uh, b mode and the m mode can able to use okay and then according to the mode it will function and the cpu will the cpu is there uh, through the cpu the functioning about all the keyboard what we are using in that particular ultrasound will function apart and uh, uh, in the screen we can able to pick up we can able to find out uh, uh, the drag box the drag box uh, uh, we can, uh, how, how far we can able to divide the drag we can able to drag box means that we can able to divide the monitor into the six patches okay in the each and every patches it, we can able to store the image we can able to see the image in the different direction in the different way okay through that we can able to identify what the uh, condition of the uh, internal organs exactly okay that are all we can able to uh, see in, uh, using the monitor that kind of dragging things all the things we can able to uh, predict using the keyboard that is present in the ultrasound machine okay so these are all the, the main important part is probe most importantly uh, for example uh, we go for the um, x ray ct mri all the thing it will uh, it should not be give it can't able to give a uh, real time image that is a very important thing uh, even though you, you can able to use for uh, mri uh, ct uh, we can able to predict only the three dimensional image okay the real time moving uh, the real video we can able to see using this particular ultrasound rather we can able to go for the image we can able to acquire the real time video through this particular ultrasound machine that is the extra advantage we can able to have it okay Our, um, so the doctor can able to identify exactly what the condition of the patient is okay through the video uh, at the same time if you are doing any projects over uh, for the final year or if you are doing project for the research if you are gone for take if you are uh, taking any ultrasound image that should not be give any that can't able to give any of the uh, uh, resolution better as like as a ct and mri why because of this particular reason the ultrasound machine if you are going to use for scanning that is purposely used for real time monitoring okay real time monitoring purpose this ultrasound is most better but if you are take any of the ultrasound image for the project that does not give any kind of resolution for uh, processing the image okay that is what uh, uh, you need to note about it and then um, and this particular ultra the basic ultrasound machine has the following parts actually uh, actually the transducer probe that i already told you that particular probe having a capability to sending the ultrasound and receiving the ultrasound that is what there is the probe that sends and receives the sound waves okay and then the central processing unit that is called a cpu uh, the cpu the function of the cpu is as like as the number uh, for the normal uh, uh, personal computer and the laptops what the cpu did is the same thing this particular ultrasound machine uh, having a function okay that particular uh, cpu computer that does all of the calculations and combine the electrical power supplies for itself and the transducer probe okay it can able to supply the uh, electrical electrical power to the uh, other other components at the same time we having a storage capacity okay somebody of them asked the question uh, how far the durability we can able to predict how far uh, how much amount of uh, uh, image we can able to store over the particular cpu like that uh, uh, somebody of them asked the most important thing is according to the story for example if you are get for uh, uh, one one db hard disk we can able to uh, save more than 10000 mbps or then more than 1 lakh mega according to the capability we can able to use the ultrasound machine okay and then the transducer pulse control the transducer pulse control changes the amplitude that is what i am saying uh, through this particular pulse control we can able to change the mode 
okay we can able to change the mode of the particular ultrasound machine that is what uh, changes the amplitude frequency and also at the same time duration of the pulses emitted from the transducer probe is also we can able to control using this particular transducer pulse control okay and then display of course monitor uh, display is the image from the ultrasound data processed by the cpu after the processing of the image these are all the thing happen in a fraction of second okay when we are uh, applying the gel over the uh, a patient's body once are keep that particular probe on the skin within a fraction of seconds all the thing happen the process of imaging the reconstruction software functioning all the thing as uh, it will be happen within a fraction of second okay uh, we already crossed over once you have placed the probe on the skin immediately we can able to see what is happen in the internal organs in the monitor so in between that in a fraction of second all the thing the cpu the probe and the uh, the transducer pulse control and the softwares uh, uh, inbuilted over the cpu all the thing are did the function okay then only we can able to uh, uh, look for a particular image in a fraction of second that is all very important and then uh, the most important thing is keyboard or cursor inputs data and it takes measurements from the display of course then the disk storage that we are uh, talking about along with the uh, uh, cpu the hard and floppy cd we can able to store that acquired image uh, rather we go for the image uh, the real time monitoring give extra advantage to the uh, uh, the monitoring of the patient's internal organ and then uh, the printing of course uh, through the storage through the computer as like as a computer we can able to use this we can able to take a print out of that particular uh, thing okay for example if you are gone for any specialty hospital or general hospital uh, that particular hospital does not have uh, uh, the ultrasound machine so for that particular reason for that particular reason they are called for they are uh, suggested to go for some other uh, scanning uh, machine, scanning uh, centers or not scanning centers or uh, something else so from the scanning center we can able to uh, take the particular printer and show it to the uh, prescribed doctor then the doctor will show, show the image and will say something okay that is what the printer and option printer option is also there for uh, uh, using this and then uh, the equipment The ultrasound scanner consists of a console containing a computer and electronics, a video display screen, and a transducer that is used to do the scanning. Of course, use the particular transducer. Use the particular transducer. The video display screen will show what happened in the internal organ. Okay, through this particular ultrasound machine, we can able not only for uh, fetal uh, fetal purpose. For example, uh, if the person went through any accident, okay, the person went through any accident uh, because of that particular uh, uh, injury, if the patient have uh, implanted with any of the implants, metal implants. So, uh, if the particular patient have any of the uh, um, malfunctioning or any of the uh, uh, requirement to scanning. the doctor does not suggest x-ray ct and mri because of the implantable devices present in the internal organs the doctor does not suggested mri ct and x-ray so for that kind of person the only suggestion is ultrasound so for that kind of people uh, the doctor suggested the ultrasound machine go and take this ultrasound machine and what happen inside the internal organ like that you will say okay so so uh, for example some other other organelles for example uh, gallbladder and uh, spleen liver that are all the thing we already crossed over uh, all the things we can able to predict the most important thing as a biomedical engineer we need to note about is we already know that through the book we can, we know that uh, what is the shape of the kidney what is the shape of the liver what is the shape of the gallbladder what is the shape of the spleen uh, what is the shape of the stomach all the things through the books we can able to understand through the videos or through the uh, images we can able to understand but as a biomedical engineer one thing you need to notice using the ultrasound machine using the ultrasound machine using the uh, during the real time monitoring you should have the capability to identify where the kidney is where the liver is because uh, what we are shown in the book what we are shown in the video okay uh, that is entirely different while you are uh, go for the real time monitoring because because according to the shape because each and every one have the different shapes of abdomen different uh, i'm sorry different size of the abdomen and everything okay if you are scanning that particular device you are scanning the particular region you should know this is a you should know about this is a kidney this is a spleen this is the liver that is what are uh, for exact uh, especially for the application specialist the application specialist those who are uh, who are responsible for giving demo to the doctor because the doctors are experts in uh, um, anatomy okay you, uh, so if you want to give demo to the doctor if you want to uh, uh, diagnose yourself into the any of the parts of your body so what you are seen what you are seen in the monitor 
you are exactly uh, uh, tell that particular part to the doctor that is very important if you are suppose for example if you are keep the particular uh, ultrasound machine in the stomach through that particular scanning you can able to see the gallbladder you can able to see the uh, uh, liver you can able to see the stomach you can able to see the some part of the uh, kidney you can able to see the some other parts that is the intestine part all the parts okay so uh, doctor asking you to uh, please uh, um, uh, please uh, scanning the particular liver i want to see the clarity of the liver like that so at the time you need to note you need to know about where the liver is how the liver look like during the real time monitoring so that is the very important thing you need to note okay uh, and then um, the transducer come to the point the transducer is a small hand held device that resembles a microphone attached to the scanner by a cord okay through that only the signal can able to receive okay uh, the, the, because of this particular transducer sending a sound wave that is that is a very important thing you need to remember okay x ray radiation ct x ray and ct they are producing x ray radiations okay in the mri they were uh, producing the radio frequency waves here it will uh, the input divide the input rays we are using used as sound waves okay ultrasound waves that is a very important thing but all are imaging devices okay so through this particular transducer we are sending some of the uh, sound waves okay that is what you are mentioning here uh, the transducer is a small handheld device that is responsible for producing the sound wave that resemble as like as a microphone okay uh, as like as a microphone it is look like and it is attached to the scanner by the cord okay along with the cord along with that particular transducer because of the power generation from the cpu it will probably start producing the sound waves okay the then the transducer send out an inaudible high frequency sound waves into the body and then listens for the returning echoes from the tissues in the body that is what a microphone is there okay that is what the microphone structured uh, uh, transducer is there please uh, remember i read out the point again the simple english you can able to understand clearly the transducer sent out inaudible high frequency sound waves okay into the body and then listens for the returning echoes from the tissues in the body that is a very important thing okay and then the principle are similar to a sonar used by the boats and submarines the same as the what we are how we can able to use a sonography machine in a, a submarines okay we can able to send the signal into the uh, uh, liquid part liquid medium we can able to find out the we can able to receive the signal also so that principle will applied over here okay uh, whatever the media it may be whatever the medium it may be it can able to pass the sound way in, in proper in exactly the liquid medium is very comfortable for the particular uh, transducer will sending the in information and uh, receiving the uh, signal okay and then the ultrasound image is immediately visible on a video display screen that looks like a computer or television monitor that is what i am saying within a fraction of second we can able to see the video but in between that uh, in between the probe and in between the monitor the thousands of processing is happened thousands of processing happen it will convert the all the images uh, because uh, the transducer is not responsible to uh, uh, shown into the monitor the only purpose of the transducer is it is sending sending the information sending the signal and receiving the sound waves sending the sound waves and receiving the sound waves. that is just the sound waves the sound waves are not uh, uh, the the sound waves are not predictable to show as the um, show into the monitor through using that particular sound waves we are using some of the computerized softwares behind that that particular softwares are using the reconstruction of the back prop back uh, propagation softwares are used that particular software is responsible for converting that particular sound waves into the monitorized image quality okay so all the things happen in a fraction of seconds okay in olden days we yeah, lost the last class we discussed about the history in olden days this process will take time this process will take almost 1 hour half an hour or 1 hour time but nowadays because of the extraordinary quality of uh, a chip monitorized uh, small smart computers we have we are seen everything within a fraction of second okay uh, then the next point is uh, i read out the uh, the same point again the ultrasound image is immediately visible on a video display screen that look like a computer or television monitor okay the image is created based on the amplitude frequency and time it takes for the sound signal to return from the area of the uh, return from the area of the patient being examined to the transducer and the type of body structure the sound travels that is a very important thing actually uh, the frequency variations the frequency variations where we are using 
okay which organ you are going to scan okay and which gender you are going to scan and uh, what is the normal uh, range of the uh, normal weight of the particular patient okay according to that only we can able to go for how much frequency is required to scanning that particular area okay that is what it vary for example if you are uh, scanning any of the uterus okay if you are going for if you are going for a female that is a separate thing the separate the modulation we required okay for the kind of uh, gen we can able to go for we can go for give for some other modulation all the things that is uh, we can able to enter into the uh, monitor monitor enter into the database according to the database the frequency is automatically adjusted nowadays uh, um, if you are gone for the recent ultrasound machine uh, the doctors are not supposed to uh, fix that frequency at all automatically uh, the particular database what the patient name is what is the patient age where the area we need to scan over and uh, uh, through uh, from the abdominal region we are going to scan or through the backbone the backbone side we can able to scan all the things we entered so according to the data the machine itself learning the machine itself learned everything and according to that the frequency is set automatically okay so frequency is set automatically and send the uh, send into the internal organ and receive the signal so there is nothing behind it. there is nothing because the doctor did nothing the doctor only see the monitor and, and diagnose that's all okay so all the thing all the process happen because of this particular equipment okay that is made by the biomedical engineer that is very important thing okay. then come to the uh, the parts it got over and then come to the how does the particular uh, ultrasound procedure we need to go for how does the procedure work ultrasound imaging is based on the same principle involved in the sonar that we already saw over when a sound wave strikes an object it bounces back or echoes okay once you are once the particular sound wave is moving to the internal organ wherever it feels obstructed wherever it feels any of the uh, uh, tissues in between in in the interrupt that particular sound wave will strike the particular object and returns all the returned waves all the returned waves can able to uh, give some of the echoes that particular echoes or the bounces the bounced uh, signal will received by the transducer that is a very important thing okay yeah by measuring these particular echo waves it is possible to determine how far away the object is please remember see the how far the particular uh, signal is traveled how far the particular signal is replicate through that we can able to identify this particular process is especially used for uh, identifying the, uh, the tumor diagnosis okay if you have gone for uh, a tumor diagnosis uh, the patient is affected by any cancer if you want to go for uh, uh, scanning the particular tumor using this ultrasound this particular duration is very important how far the distance happened uh, when you are while you are applying the signal how does the time duration happen while you are receiving the signal what is the time duration happen according to the time duration we can able to predict how far the object is nearby okay uh, that is what by measuring these echo waves it is possible to determine how far away the object is and its size shape and consistency okay whether the object is solid filled solid or filled with fluid or both whatever it is because in our human body some of them are filled with fluid and some of the organs are not filled with fluid okay whatever the organ it may be once the sound waves st uh, strikes any of the object it will return back according to the particular duration of uh, time the doctor can able to predict how far the particular um, tissue get inflamed okay uh, the doctor have uh, some of the um, uh, predictions the doctor have some of the normal calculation for example uh, if you are gone for the diagnosis of the kidney okay gone for the diagnosis of the kidney uh, approximate range is there okay if you are kept the uh, probe into the uh, abdominal part it will uh, send the signal and it will receive the signal okay the doctors know the normal timing okay it is it is approximately uh, 10% or 20% it, it should not be give any of the effect because according to the uh, the fatty of the patient according to the fatty of the patient the, the sound waves will travel and it takes some time okay so some predictions even it is more than 20% or even more than 30% or less than 5% it shows the abnormality that is what i am saying uh, that is what i am trying to say okay the traveling distance the traveling distance will be measured at the same time the traveling distance is showed in the monitor itself the traveling distance is showed in the monitor itself okay that is what i am trying to say uh, in medicine ultrasound in medicine ultrasound in medicine ultrasound is used to detect changes in appearance of organ tissue and vessels or 
detect abnormal masses such as tumors okay uh, i will uh, show some of the uh, a demo once you are crossed over if you have a time permits we can go for okay in an ultrasound examination a transducer both sends the sound waves and receives record the echoing waves that's what i have repeatedly saying the repeated point the transducer having the capability to sending the image i am sorry sending the sound waves and receiving the sound waves okay when the transducer is pressed against the skin it directs small pulses of inaudible the most important thing is how far we can give the impression impression on the skin okay how far you are giving impression on the skin that's what the resolution is for that purpose uh, i i am not i am indicating that if you are giving the impression over the particular uh, region it should not be give that kind of resolution that is also a, that is a normal range is there this is what you need to press the skin this is what you need, you should not be do out of the skin that is a certain procedure is there okay uh, you are supposed to do that particular procedure in whichever the area you are going to be for example if you are gone to take an ultrasound machine of the ligament or a, a tendon then you need to press long because it will cross over the hot tissues okay hot tissues you can it can able to penetrate over and then only you can able to find out where the uh, tears are happen in the ligament or the tendon like that suppose if you are gone for uh, scanning the soft tissues like a uh, uh, feet tell or cardiology or in any of the abdominal part that time you are not you are not supposed to press the particular uh, uh, not supposed to high impress, impression on that particular skin okay the small impression is enough for that these are all the things uh, uh, the trained people will uh, uh, teach you as you are appointed as application specialist okay that is what uh, we need to uh, uh, do over it and then uh, as the sound waves bounces off or bounces bounces off of internal organ fluid and tissue the sensitive microphone in the transducer record tiny changes in the sounds pitches and the direction that is what very important thing is okay that particular transducer play a main vital role from the starting to ending okay because this particular transducer gives the input to the cpu at the same time it give the input to scanning the internal organ okay according to the inputs given from the transducer to the cpu it will show the image in the monitor and that it will show the video in the monitor if there is any abstractions over there then the monitor give the abnormal uh, video that is what i am saying okay so this signature i am sorry the next slide these signature waves are instantly measured and displayed by a computer when it turns create a real time picture on a monitor okay so these signature waves instantly measured and displayed on a computer that is what which is turned and create a real time picture on the monitor most probably if you want to uh, take any of the real time image or real time uh, video this ultrasound is best option okay so that is something i i repeatedly say one or more frames of the uh, moving pictures are typically captured as still images that is what uh, we have gone for any of the snapshot in the mobile phone we can able to take a snapshot right like that we can able to take the snapshot and uh, uh, kept to uh, kept it in the drag box okay and then small loops of the moving real time images may also be seen doppler ultrasound uh, a special application of the ultrasound measure the direction and the speed of the blood cells as they move through vessels the next uh, application of the the next uh, uh, advantage of the ultrasound is the invention of doppler through this particular doppler ultrasound we can able to predict the blood cells movement also blood cells in movement in the blood vessels also we can able to predict using this particular doppler how the speed of the particular cells is how the direction is all the thing we can able to measure using this particular doppler how we can able to measure is all the thing is digitally displayed in the monitor use the especially in the doppler ultrasound i'm talking about i'm not talking about the uh, the general vision the doppler ultrasound will predict or will show the direction and the speed of the blood cells in the blood vessels okay that will predict that will uh, show you how far uh, uh, your uh, hematological nature is okay that is what and then the movement of the blood cell causes changes in the pitch reflected sound waves called the doppler effect okay that is what in the according to the movement according to the movement of the particular uh, blood cells the transferred uh, the transferred sound waves will be 
reply that is a replicated over from that particular uh, thing and it will received by the transmitter so during through that particular time duration we can able to measure how far this particular speed of the blood cells is okay then the computer the last at last the computer collects and process the sound process the sounds and creates graph or color picture that represents the flow of blood through the blood vessels the colored doppler is also there the colored doppler is also there we can able to uh, uh, see color variations we can able to predict where is the normal and where is the abnormal okay that is a doppler ultrasound thing how is procedure performed again for most ultrasound exam the patient is positioned these are all the procedure uh, what the patient is required i think so for most ultrasound exam the patient is positioned lying face up on the examination table that can be tilted or moved as like as a ct x ray and mri this particular patient table can able to tilted or moved with any direction okay a clear water based gel is applied to the area of the body being studied to do studied to help the transducer make secure contact with the um, body uh, what is the reason behind that particular uh, uh, gel applying over the skin is that particular gel will give the uh, what how, how to say um, um, um the jelly nature the jelly nature will give the uh, extra softness to the probe the tip of the probe so that particular tip of the probe that can able to get a softy nature over it the illumination nature that is a softy nature over it then it is a easy way to uh, the sound waves can able to penetrate over the tissue into the internal organs that is what we can able to apply the gel over it for example if there is any rough face over it then we can't able to move that particular uh, uh, probe in your smoothy nature okay there is a, some of the disturbances over there the particular probe uh, having some of the uh, up and downs so during the time the, the traveling of the sound waves will got affected so that is why we are over uh, the gel is pasted over the skin where we want to examine okay that is what a clear water based gel is applied to the area of the body being studied to help the transducer make secure contact with the body that is what and eliminate air pockets okay that is the reason between the air pockets between the transducer and the skin and uh, that can block the sound waves from passing into your body okay and then uh, the ultrasound uh, technicians are called as a sonographer the sonographer or the radiologist that presses the transducer firmly against the skin in various locations swapping over the area of the interest and or angling into the sound beam from a farther location to better see on area of concern whatever the area you uh, the particular sonographer need to be examined exactly the particular position will be scanned only you need to place your probe on the exact region for example if you want to examine the kidney or uh, if you want to examine a uh, abdominal region if you want to place uh, uh, the particular probe into the chest then how it can able to uh, uh, show the abdominal part that is the very basic things uh, you need to know about where the exact region you need that particular location you need to kept over the probe the probe can able to identify where what is the internal organ present in it and how the condition of the particular internal organ is all the things will be displayed over in the monitor okay that is what uh, you need to note about it and the doppler sonography is performed using the same transducer uh, the same transducer is used for uh, doppler and the color doppler all the thing when the examination to complete the patient may be asked to dress and wait the uh, wait while the ultrasound images are reviewed in uh, some ultrasound studies the transducer is attached to a probe and uh, inserted into a natural opening in the body they examine include uh, trans transesophageal echocardiogram if you have gone for the uh, trans echocardiogram the transducer is inserted into the esophagus okay so it's, it's like as an uh, endoscope we are used this, this particular ultrasound uh, to obtain image of the heart okay and then for the trans rectal ultrasound for the as like as an uh, 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 endoscope procedure as like as an endoscope procedure uh, this particular ultrasound is also used for Uh, capturing the image of the internal organ through this particular area that is uh, for the process of echocardiogram or the, for the process of the rectal ultrasound the transducer is inserted into the man's rectum to view the prostate ah uh, okay trans vaginal ultrasound the transducer is inserted into the woman's vagina to view the uterus and the ovaries okay and most ultrasound examinations are completed within 30 minutes to a 1 hour i i hope so in my experience the 30 minutes to 1 hour is must was 
even a 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes we can able to uh, find out what does happen exactly in the internal organs okay and then uh, we go for what are the benefits we can able to uh, get over it before that i will uh, show you some of the uh, a demo we crossed over during the uh, uh, three days of training we took last week so i want to show that particular uh, video i think i have i will check over all i will uh, show through the i think i have it i'm sorry i deleted i think so but i will show you through my uh, uh, youtube channel okay, you can able to uh, find out that the YouTube, uh, YouTube studio and uh, you've been able to find out ultrasound real-time monitoring yeah here here it is there you can able to play that particular thing uh, can anyone reply me uh, uh, it, it is audible yes sir. you can able to see the screen right yes sir. yeah you can you can able to see the audio also you can able to hear the audio uh, you can able to hear no sir no yeah you can't see the uh, you can't hear the uh, video audio right yes sir videos audio you can't be okay i will explain it okay i will explain okay, it. okay. so uh, this is the uh, actually ultrasound machine actually um, the one handed image actually uh, uh, he will uh, take this is a g ultrasound machine monitor uh, I already told you the dragging part. The dragging part in the monitor, we can able to find out some of the uh, spots over. Through that, uh, we can able to find out, we can able to predict the dragging region. Okay. And then, um, uh, see, that these are all the data we can able to uh, uh, say over it. What, what is the data? What is the patient's uh, uh, data we need to enter over? That will be displayed in the particular right side uh, uh, top image, top uh, corner. We can able to find out all the things. Once you are used for the examination purpose and all the things will be displayed in the below right side top uh, that is in the right side bottom region we can able to see what is the condition of the patient will be displayed over okay and then this is the uh, keyboard in the of the ultrasound machine this is as like as a computer we can able to see in the topmost in the bottom region the drag ball is there through the drag ball we can able to uh, uh, see the tracking image okay and then the a mode these are all the mode region. He pointed out A mode, B mode, M mode, all the things we can able to uh, uh, you see where whatever the mode we need out, we can able to choose that according to that particular choosing. The ultrasound will be predict over. Okay, A mode or B mode or N mode, and this is the prop region. And um, these are all the other buttons. We can able to print. Uh, printing option is there. Okay, printing option is there. Then a uh, quadrant. Quadrant we can able to uh, say. I already told you. Uh, the quadrant we can able to predict so we can able to divide this particular monitor into the four quadrant okay four uh, um, i think you will show we can able to divide as yes, four quadrant uh, we can able to view the four different sort of uh, regions we can able to predict using the probe okay so according to the drag ball we can able to drag over and uh, you can able to place that particular uh, probe in that uh, skin region through that we can able to uh, see the four quadrant image. Okay, four quadrant we can generate to see. Okay, listen. I said so now. Now he starts scanning actually. He can able to. You are supposed to uh, scan the cardiac. Okay, this is actually a cardiac ultrasound. Uh, this is a probe actually. This is a probe. This is a probe orientation. Um, actually, this particular probe is uh, specially for pediatric is separate and uh, for the adult is separate. The direction of the probe is very important. Where how we can able to uh, scan over the skin? If you are place the scan in the inverted position then the shape will be changed over what you are shown in the shape right I, I, will, I will i will show you what you saw in the uh, wait wait what you saw in the uh, the a shaped structure is there right if you are inverting the particular probe then the shape is inverted okay that is what uh, he mentioned uh, you can able to play place the probe on the 
particular position what the uh, exact position you need it you need to place over it okay and then um, uh, he will uh, show the cardiac see now we can able to see the echo also i can hear uh, this particular region wait 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 where he will scan yeah yeah you can able to see the uh, heart you can able to see the real time video of the cardiac you can able to see i can able to see the uh, um, ventricles i can able to see the uh, see the ventricles will close and open close and that is a contraction relaxed contraction relax that particular thing is very important you can able to predict using this particular ultrasound probe see that is what what he what he said was this is the ventricle and this is the right auricle and right ventricle and this is the left auricle and left ventricle he says see most probably this particular area can be predict using this particular ultrasound this is actually a two chamber view okay and then uh, this is the color this is the color we can able to fix it over we if you want to point it out the heart exactly you can able to use the color using the keyboard okay through that we can able to scan okay i'm sorry uh, through that we can able to predict okay and then uh, i hope uh, i just i share this particular video uh, in the classroom you can able to uh, uh, see along with the audio it will uh, give extra knowledge about it okay and then uh, we return back to the uh, class slides okay so these are all the thing i unlisted because uh, they are all paid and uh, studied so that is what i i'm not you are not searching this in the youtube because i put it in the unlisted mode but even though i will uh, post it in the classroom you can able to see over it so come to the point uh, come to the class i pose uh, and uh, what are the benefits you can able to get using this particular ultrasound and everything okay most ultrasound scanning is non invasive of course most not not only most but 90% of the ultrasound is uh, a non invasive uh, there is no um, needles or injections we are supposed to do as like as a um, for a mri scan or as like as a um, ct like that okay um, See in the CT, we are injecting some of the tracer, right? That is what I am pointing out. Here, there is no need of any injections or any need of uh, tracers are not required. Simply, the probe when able to placed over the skin, the monitor will show the internal organs. That's all. Okay, there is no uh, illness happen or no uncomfortableness happen. Not uncomfortable feelings are uh, uh, through that for through both the users and also the. Um, the patients okay ultrasound is widely available easy to use and less expensive most importantly it is a point everybody gone for ultrasound ultrasound is not an expensive it is a very cheaper okay and compare with the ct and x ray and mri okay uh, then other imaging methods that is what i am mentioning about ct x ray and mri ultrasound imaging does not use any ionizing radiation that is what one another advantage everybody gone for ultrasound okay ultrasound cas scanning gives a clear picture of the soft tissues that do not show up well on x ray images that is the thing so um, if the doctor can't able to predict using the uh, ultrasound scanning then he refer the particular patients uh, then he suggest the particular patient to go for x ray or ct if the particular doctor can predict what the exact uh, the doctor can able to diagnose what happened in the internal organ is then he he he, he not suggested any other ultra um, uh, imaging techniques so that is what the first option is ultrasound the ultrasound is preferred image modality for the diagnosis and monitoring of the pregnant woman and other unborn babies that is what most probably 100 percentage 100 percentage pregnant ladies pregnant ladies if you want to monitoring the internal fetal this ultrasound is suggestible of course there is a procedure is there uh, the pregnant ladies are pregnant ladies are not supposed to uh, examine through the particular x ray or ct or mri the only suggestible scanning methodology is ultrasound scan okay especially for a pregnant ladies and then ultrasound provide a real time image making it is a good tool for guiding minimally invasive procedures such as needle biopsies and needle aspirations okay that is what uh, you need to uh, note about it and then unlike x ray ultrasound involves only sound waves i think i finished all the points yes, yes 
unlike x ray ultrasound involves only sound waves no radiation danger is there no secondary radiation no primary radiation is also not there only the sound wave then that particular sound wave is also not giving any of the ill effect to the internal organs okay that is what uh, the doctors are suggesting most probably the 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 the, the, the kids under the age of 13 or under the age of 14 the doctor first of all suggesting ultrasound only if the doctor is can't able to diagnose what happened in the internal organ then he suggested for some other uh, imaging technique uh, is especially for uh, x ray ct the last option is mri why because i am especially i am talking about the uh, the small age people that is uh, the kids and uh, some other uh, uh, aged persons because we can able to uh, acquire more amount of sound during uh, uh, the mri scan because mri scan because of the magnetic field magnetic effect it will producing noisy me noisy sounds okay that particular noisy sound will give irritation to the patient even though we we can able to uh, uh, the doctors uh, the radiographer fix the uh, um, the earphone earphone on your ear uh, through that you can able to hear some of the songs or you can able to hear some of the uh, audio or something like that if you are not wearing that particular uh, earphone you are not hearing any of the audio then this particular noise will give irritation so that is what the doctor suggested uh, not suggested mri probably okay uh, especially for the teenage people especially for the uh, the age under uh, 10 and uh, the pregnant ladies and some other the age more than 60 people are so not suggested mostly mri but if the predictions is required we can't able to diagnose the particular internal organs uh, abnormality through the x ray ct or uh, ultrasound then there is no option is there then there is no option is there the uh, purposely the particular patient is uh, examined through the mri okay uh, these are all the things that as a biomedical engineer we should know about it okay because the doctor once you are gone for uh, okay once you are gone for any of the uh, 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 machine sales the doctors ask these kind of questions also okay during the demo also the doctors ask so many questions so these are all the basic things you need to know about it. okay then only you can it is very uh, better for you to selling the machine or giving the demo to the doctors okay and then the next point is already unlike x ray ultrasound involves only sound waves there is no radiation danger and the next point is however sound waves can increase body temperature this is known as a cavitation actually actually that particular sound waves having a capability to decrease the temperature some of them are having the receiving uh, some of them uh, receive some of the temperature not more than 99 degree uh, uh, celsius but that is what is what the minimum amount of temperature increase we can able to acquire while you are uh, uh, undergone this particular ultrasound because of the sound waves we can able to acquire that okay that particular process is known as a cavitation and a significant only for long exposure time that is what i am mentioning about suppose uh, in the olden days scanning Uh, if you're gone under uh, 30 minutes or one hour it will create much amount of temperature increased but nowadays the smart ultrasound the portable ultrasound using that we can able to predict the image within a uh, 15 hour we can able to diagnose whatever the abnormality that a particular internal organ is affected by we can able to acquire we can able to uh, diagnose within a 20 minutes so that is a, that is what um, the 20 minutes sound waves receiving is not giving much amount of temperature variation okay and then uh, we go for uh, many studies of course many studies have conducted to determine the physiological effects of ultrasound cavitation that uh, already i told you uh, initially this particular ultrasound is invented in the year of 1940 especially for the therapeutic purpose therapeutic purpose through the sound waves is there is any possibility to uh, uh, break uh, break down the tumors that is what this particular ultrasound machine is invented actually but later on uh the doc the doctors the, um, the predict over we can't able to do anything this uh, this particular sound waves using the particular sound waves we can't able to break the tumors like that then this particular ultrasound machine is used for the diagnosis purpose okay um that is what the, some of the research are also going on nowadays some of the research are also going on using the sound waves uh, we can able to uh, uh, cut down any uh, at least a benign tumor we can able to cut down all the process going on actually Uh, many studies have been conducted to determine the physiological effects of the ultrasound cavitation that is increasing temperature no direct correlation has been found between ultrasound imaging and the cancer that is what i am mentioning about low birth weight uh, dyslexia or delayed speech that is called the delayed speech development and reliable data from ultrasound techniques is used hard to come by additional studies are ongoing uh, became uh, it is a bigger risk in uh, misdiagnosis that is what 
most importantly the last point bigger risk in misdiagnosis you should know about where how the particular um, organ is look like during the scanning that is a very important thing if you are a misdiagnosis if you are misdiagnosis then all the thing is collapsed the report will be collapsed then the patients normal patients felt that abnormal so that is what i am mentioning about the diagnostic area should be in your mind how the kidney is look how the abnormal kidney is look for example uh, abnormal kidney is look like a liver abnormal it abnormal kidney is look like a liver during that time you should know about where the kidney is okay whether the kidney is abnormal or normal whether the liver is normal or abnormal whether the gallbladder spleen okay all the things you should know about the most of the doctors felt that most of the uh, biomedical engineer felt that the missed diagnosis is a bigger risk okay and then uh, the future of ultrasound be uh, improved qu- improved clarity of uses in cancer diagnosis of course uh, especially for uh, the cancer diagnosis uh, the the very important thing is bigger clarity okay bigger clarity image i am talking about and then increase the therapeutic use to correct blood clots and kidney stones that is what initially this particular ultrasound is invented for the therapeutic purpose i already told you nowadays uh, they are trying to use that particular uh, ultrasound for breaking the stones and for, for correcting the blood clots and everything okay and then portability and uh, veterinary use also uh, veterinary purpose also we can able to use for the ultrasound especially for scanning some of the animals and the portability of course there is a portable images on there we can able to uh, uh, take the particular ultrasound as like as a suitcase we can able to take the ultrasound okay and then uh, last point joint and muscle treatment through cavitation through as like as a thermogram as like as a thermogram is there is any possibility what happened in the thermo what 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 we are uh, um, how we can able to use the particular thermogram through the thermogram we can able to predict the tumors and everything according to the temperature variation like that you see is there is any possibility is there is any possibility by increasing the temperature especially for uh, uh, giving any of the uh, physiotherapical treatment especially in the joints and the muscles okay like that they are uh, the future ultrasound is uh, in the research actually and then uh, uh, and then what are the limitation for the general ultrasound machine is ultrasound waves are disturbed by air or uh, by air or gases therefore ultrasound is not an ideal imaging technology for air filled bowel or organ obscured by the bowel okay that is what in most cases barium exams ct scanner and mri scanner are the methods for choice of this particular setting of course uh, what i what i what i suggested is when you are going for the scanning while you are going for the scanning the air filled bowel the air filled bowel especially for uh, uh, lungs uh, keep on i am saying uh, keep on i am saying some of the repeated internal organs like a heart gallbladder spleen um, liver all the things are not air filled please remember all the thing are liquid filled areas the air filled area in our human body is lungs okay we can't able to take this particular uh, scanning devices especially for the respiratory purpose okay that is what i'm mentioning about it not an ideal imaging technique for air filled bowel or organ obscured by this that is uh, obscured by this particular bowel in most cases barium exams ct scanner mri is purposely used for that particular imaging large patients are more difficult to image by ultrasound because greater amount of tissue attenuation okay the sound waves as they are passed deeper into the body most probably the aged people most probably the aged people because of the uh, aging because of the aging we can able to find out some of the attenuation over uh, over the particular uh, tissues okay that through because of that particular reason the sound wave should not be travel the sound wave should not be penetrated over the particular tissue uh, by scanning the internal organ uh, so during the purpose we can't able to uh, suggested ultrasound okay we can't able to predict the real time monitoring also so for that particular patient we suggested some of the uh, uh, other technique other imaging technique as like a ct or mri ultrasound has a difficulty penetrating bone and therefore can see uh, only see the outer surface of the bony structure and not what lies within uh, except the infants for visualizing internal structure of the bones or certain joints other imaging such as uh, uh, what is that 
MRI are typically used. As like I already told you, uh, you have one doubt. I already told you tendons and ligaments can able to uh, scanning using this particular ultrasound. By the remembrance, the tendons and the ligaments are the soft tissues. I am sorry, tendons and the ligaments are the corners of the bone. Tendons and ligaments are the corners of the bone. We can predict, we can diagnose the corners, but we can't say we can't see the internal structure of the bone. That is what I am mentioning about. We can't able to see the what happened internal of the bone. Internal of the bone, we can't able to see this particular uh, ultrasound machine. But what happened nearby? The tendon and ligaments we can able to in the border of the region. There is a bone and bone connection, the bone and the muscle connection that can able to predict. That we can able to predict whether the connection is made or not, whether the connection have any inflammation or not. All the things we can able to predict, but we can't able to scanning the internal part. That is what I am mentioning about. So I hope uh, that's all about uh, this particular ultrasound is about. So uh, uh, you just crossed over the section seven first of all. Because this is a continuation of the section seven, session seven. So I I, I uploaded the recorded video. I hope uh, many of them uh, attended yesterday. But now I think two of them attended. I think so. You just cross over the session seven first of all, and then you can uh, see the recorded video of the eighth session. Probably, probably um, um, seventy-five percentage of the theoretical part of the ultrasound you can able to make. Okay, uh, if you are seen practically, if you are used this particular ultrasound practically, then you are, you can gathering much amount of knowledge about this. Okay, that's all about uh, the today's class about. So, um, do you have any clarification or do you have any uh, doubts? You can able to approach through the uh, uh, Google Classroom itself, and then the uploaded video will be reach you uh, within uh, the the session seven recorded video will be reach you within a one hour or one hour, and this particular video will be. Reach you on or before tomorrow uh, 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 afternoon. Okay, most probably because that is the editing purpose is also there. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, and uh, thank you. Good night. Bye bye.